Finger TV. Hello, you are watching Finger TV. Back again here, with me, Daddy C, with Baggio. The slaughterer is once again deserted us, but yeah, we're still on that Pokemon hype, as you can see, all laid out in front of us. We have the Venusaur, the Blastoise, and today we are taste testing the Pokemon Ocean Bomb Sparkling Waters. Um, they are, are not widely available in the UK, where Finger TV is uh, based out of. Um, Baggio has got these from, tell us your story. Well, I've seen them, I think they've been on sale for at least a few years, haven't they? But um, yeah. this is the first time I've actually been tempted because it's also depressed because they're imported there. You could buy, I don't know, a can of Coke for, what, 60p? And these are about pound fifty or something. So, yeah, it is a bit of a gamble, but that's why we're here. We're here to show you whether they're actually worth Actually, yep, so. to save you guys um, whether you want to try it or not, but this is pear flavour. We've got Togepi on the bottle, on the can, sorry. And then we also have a Squirtle one, Ocean Bomb Sparkling Water, pear flavour again. What, what would you expect him to be? I wouldn't expect him to be pear flavour. Uh, <laughs> what, what's that more oceany water type? <laughs> Aqua <Bubble> flavour. <laughs> Yeah, blueberry flavour maybe or something. <laughs> yeah, and then we have the Bulbasaur, who is apple flavour. Yeah, I kind of can see that, that apple for him. It's one of the few that makes sense. Yep. And then um, we've got Snorlax, who is white grape flavour. <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough. That one should be interesting to taste. And then This we've one got... makes sense. It's just generic yep. sparkling water, I think. Uh, yep, um, that is the Poke... Yep. Pokeball can, yeah? yeah? Yeah. So this is just generic taste. I'm These sure you all know how Sparkling Water tastes. actually remember, they are a little bit cheaper because I can assume because they have no flavour. Okay, and we've got the Charmander, which is, you can all predict, orange flavour. <laughs> tastes almost as good as Fanta, I've heard. Although, we were watching a video um, I think it was again from about two years ago, so they probably changed, but yep. Pikachu had a slightly different packaging and he was actually, what was it, a cucumber flavour? And so, everyone was saying how disgusting it was. So as you can see, he is not cucumber flavour, it is cider flavour. And there's so, Pikachu shaking his booty. <laughs> yeah. So for the collectors out there, they, if you want to track down a cucumber one, it's probably going to be worth more in a few years to come. Yeah. It, they will probably be part of the vintage, you know, Pokemon cards collection. You can sell it alongside them. Logan Paul might buy it. Uh, but yeah, which flavour should we try first? Um, I think we should try the modern one. So yeah, we've got two glasses here. Um, we're sticking to being COVID compliant, so we're not going to share glasses. But um, yeah, we're going to crack open this Togepi pear flavour first. So. Wish us luck. Yep. Right. Oh, listen to that. Oh, I, I, I can smell that already. Oh, I have, I have a smell of that. You can definitely smell the pear, can't you? Yeah, that is yeah, cider it's in a pretty, can pretty right strong. there. Mm. <laughs> As you can see, very clear. Very sparkly. Yep. Cheers. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, that definitely doesn't <laughs> taste like sparkling water. It's very flavoury. What is that stuff you can buy in the UK? Yeah. Um, the, 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 the apple stuff. Apple stuff. Uh, in the glass. It's pretty expensive. Uh, apple vinegar? Apple Tizer or something. T tizer? No, no, no. Apple Tizer is in app, like appetizer, but it's Apple oh, Tizer. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, it definitely um, doesn't taste like sparkling water. It tastes more like a fizzy drink. So I, I could easily down that. That was really nice. Yeah. Um, but let's look at the. Um, right, so they've stuck this little label over it because I think it is all in Chinese or. Where are these from? Taiwan. Mm. For sale. Oh, for sale in China only. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Uh, so what have we got? 
This is what you all came to see. Zero grams of fat, uh, 9.7 grams of carbohydrate, and 10 grams of sugar, and 0 0.005 grams of salt. But yeah, that, that was actually really nice. Um, should we crack on to the next one? Yeah, let's let's start. Uh, let's save the cider for last. Because we? you That's think the, it's going to be the best yeah. one. Yeah. It, it I, I think cucumber, you never know. I think Charmander would be yeah. the first. Then Pichu. Then yeah. is yep that one actually corresponds to his uh, color. Okay, so so we don't get the flavors mixed up. Let's change cups. Should we go with the generic one first? Because then it can only get better, can't it? Yeah, you know what? Let's mm. because I, I don't know about you. I'm not a fan of sparkling water. <laughs> So, are you ready? Yep, we've got the Squirtle cup <laughs> and we've got the Bulbasaur cup. Right. I'm not looking forward to this. But then it has got high expectations now yeah. after the, uh, yeah. what was it? The pear one. Yeah. Well, straight off the bat, it looks pretty clear, like yep. watery. There's no colour to it whatsoever. Here we go. Don't smell of nothing. Can you smell anything? It's like bleach on the side of the cup. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Oh. Definitely um, <laughs> sparkling water taste. Definitely taste of sparkling water. I think. No flavour whatsoever. And There is a slight flavour, but I feel it doesn't add anything to... So does that get a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Mm -hmm. Well, those would buy one, get one free. Yeah. Whereas the character based cans were not, they were um, twice as expensive. So, so, how many fingers would you give that? I, if I was desperate on a desert island and needed a drink, I'd take it, but any other situation. Uh, no. that, that'll get a uh, thumbs down from us. Oh, God. Um, where should I? I'm going to deposit it in here. <laughs> that was nasty. Right, um, let's crack on to the next one. Uh, <sighs> should we go with that? Snorlax, Snorlax grape, yeah, yeah, let's go with that one. Sure. Um, we use the first cups here. Right. Quite a lot of fizz there. So, this one is white grape flavour. The nutrition label is 7.2 grams of sugar. Uh, I'm. Let's give it a sniff. How does it smell? It's quite faint, but there is a smell there. Oh, it smells like plastic a bit. Yeah, I can smell that like plastic. <laughs> right, look. Right, this doesn't taste like it. How it's do I an improvement. Yeah, it's definitely improvement over the sparkling Pokeball water. Probably not as good as the pear. <laughs> Can I just chew it and say it tastes a bit white grapey? <laughs> I don't think it does, that's the thing. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember the last time I actually consumed Ooh, white yeah, grape. Um, so. I don't know. I can't really... It's like Lambrini. Mm. If you, I don't know what other countries have. Lambrini outside the UK, maybe it's an international thing, but if you're in the UK, you definitely know what Lambrini is. Yeah, it definitely is. tastes more like flavoured water than like a full soda, like the um, pear flavour one did. The pear flavour one, this one definitely tasted better, flavour wise. Now, I, I could drink this all day, this one, but this one, maybe if uh, I was really thirsty, I'd go. Yeah, yeah, I think Snorlax is gonna have to go in the discard pile. Uh, I think we'll give that two fingers. Yep. Two fingers from Finger TV. <laughs> Alright, um, so next I'd say, do you reckon this is going to taste the same as the other one? There's also pear flavour. It's just going to be a slight variation, mm, but no. there's still... Because these two are both uh, pear flavour, so I'm not sure if they're going to taste exactly the same. Oh, right, right, this is yeah. 
white grey. Yeah, hair. these I are both. Was white hair. <laughs> no, no. So maybe maybe we should um, crack this one open because it's just going to taste the same as the other one. So with it though, it, could it be like I don't know, drinking Pepsi and Coke? Mm. I think we should just open it anyway. Yeah. Just just for the uh, viewers watching because you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, have that alongside the other one just to compare it um, after. But let's try this one first. Apple okay. flavor. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with apple. Mm -hmm. And you can't go wrong with Bulbasaur as you're a start of Pokemon. Alright. I can smell it from here. Ooh. All right, let's have a smell of that. Oh yeah, that's definitely apple smell. <laughs> Hang on, I've tasted this before. Uh, it tastes like the <laughs> the apple in the, the, the apple, the fizzy apple in a Swedish store called like. Uh, you know, yes, you're you're right. You're right. It does. It does. You know the free refills that you get with you. Yep, yep. <laughs> you so, order a hot dog. Yeah, <laughs> so the apple flavour IKEA. Is it fizzy? It is fizzy, isn't it? Spark is sparkling the same as fizzy, not really, but uh, it's yeah. similar. But um yeah, I have a feeling we know now where IKEA get their sources of apple flavoured yeah. fizzy water from. Yeah, but I think a lot of these um you're paying more for the actual can and the design on it rather than the drink itself. Like, if we was just to package this in the generic packaging, <laughs> yeah. saying apple flavour, sparkling water, it would probably sell what, for half the price? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this just yeah. reminds me of Ikea. I think they'll get three fingers from me. Mm -hmm. What about you, out of five fingers? Mm -hmm. Three fingers. The, yeah, I still um, the pear ones. They're still my favourite. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the pear ones still the best so far. Which is a surprise to me. Yeah. Um, so let's crack open the orange Ooh. one, there, shall we? Well, we've heard good things about this one. <laughs> so the, let's hope this doesn't disappoint. Oh, it's not very orangey. Oh, it's still clear. Which is good, but that means there's no artificial colourings and stuff like that. No Pokemon were harmed during the process. Ima imagine that they actually like kill a real Charmander just to squeeze all the juice out of him. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that don't smell like orange. It's got a weird smell to it. Uh, I think in the UK they would call this iron brew. Oh that, that's not very strong as well the taste. I could taste faint orange kind of. Yeah. Do you, do you remember them Lucasade uh, tablets? <laughs> like the sweets you can get. The or Orange Lucasade tap sweets. It's Have as you ever if tried someone that? just dropped one of those. Yes, that's exactly what I was gonna say. The Orange Lucasade sweets is that someone dropped some one in a glass of water and just melted, and the flavour's kind of gone into it a bit. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's bad, but still, hmm. It's yeah. It's I'd say it's perfectly on, I'd say it's on par with the apple one. Yeah, no, I'd say if you were to give that to someone not showing them the can or telling them what flavour it is, it would be very hard for them to guess that it's orange. Yeah. They might say, I think maybe a hint of citrus or tropical. But yeah, orange, I don't think they'll be able to guess. But yeah, I'd say three fingers again, three fingers. Yeah, yeah I think it's just the fact that the can clearly states that it's orange by colour and 
notes, is it, on the contents, but if it weren't for that, yeah, yeah. you did a blind test. Uh, you'd never know. Right, so how many we've got left now? We have one more. No, we, we've got two more, but obviously the uh, so, one is a repeat of... Yeah, should we do the repeat? We'll save the cider one to last, shall we? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I think there's got to be a slight variation on him. You know, you've got a clear glass there. It's just going to be do this one. Right, so, you, you know what? I'd say, let's go back and retry <laughs> this one first, just to okay. familiarise ourselves back with the taste, and then we'll try this one and compare the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So this one was our favourite, wasn't it? Yeah. We always say this one we could drink all day. This one definitely gets a strong four and a half fingers. Uh, so yeah, if I can chop one of my fingers in half, but yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's like mm, a huge upgrade. Yeah, definitely my favourite one. Kind of thinking of this one again is making me feel a bit sick. The generic portable one. Um, I think this is kind of in order at the moment. I think, well, maybe not. If we could sort of. Feel that's my opinion so far, but then obviously Right, let's um, crack open the second pair one okay. then. Um, I'm gonna let you do it, it might bring us luck. You, you know what, um, feel... let's look at the labels and compare them, shall we? Uh, yeah, exactly the same. So I have a feeling this one is gonna taste the same. So yeah, it's because um, we've seen that there are other ones on sale. There is a Mew and who's the other one? I think Meowth or something. I'm guessing Mew because he's purple. He's probably going to be grape flavour. But then because you've got white grape, grape they are just going to repeat themselves. Like that could be what it is. Like there's only I don't know five or six flavours, and then after that it's just you choose your favourite Pokemon for the flavour. Who knows, like we could be wrong, but it's hard to do the research on a, a foreign product, which is why we're making the video. But if you do know, let us know in the comments. You know what would be a fun video we should do? If we was to redo this again and then we add a bit of like vodka <laughs> to each one and then we get drunk during the video, that'll make it so much more That's entertaining. That's why I'm looking forward to pink juice. So yeah, <laughs> maybe the cider can get us a bit tipsy. But here we go, Squirtle, Ocean Bomb. Sparkling water pear flavour. Right, and the, the, let's crack them open. This is a bit like um, opening a booster pack, ain't it? Like a pack opening. Yeah, Finger TV can't really afford to open booster packs, so instead we open cans. <laughs> we won't be resealing these ones. Yeah. Maybe one day Logan Paul will buy these of us. And bring a cup over. This one, yeah. We did invite him over for drinks to join the small yeah, video. But, but unfortunately, he didn't respond. He's, a, he's too good for us. Alright, cheers. Yeah. It's not the same. No, it, it doesn't taste as strong. I think the Togepi one, this one, definitely tasted stronger. This one tasted a lot weaker. Don't you think? think? No, I feel like it's stronger, but not in a good way. Do you think they tasted like two different flavors? Mm. Yeah, they definitely tasted different, but um, I felt it was much weaker. I felt the Togepi one was stronger. I think it might be weaker. It's just the fact that the taste isn't. There's yeah. still a clear winner. Yeah, I think that will have to be three fingers again. I think you're being generous, but. Fingers, maybe? Two and a half. If, if I'm okay, being two generous. and a half fingers from Badger. But yeah, which one's been your favourite so far? Mine's definitely been the pear Togepi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I don't think he has any competition. Or... I'd say the Charmander, the orange, was a close second, maybe. 
it, it was. Lucas aid, but it's just sweet. the fact that a blind test, we wouldn't even be able to describe what flavour it was. It was yeah, so... like I said, Lucas aid tablet sweets. That's mm. what it tasted like. So now to the main event. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Check out that ass. Booty. <laughs> So it is cider, but so I don't think anyone will be drinking this. I think this is the first time I've heard of sparkling water cider flavour. <laughs> it's either cider or sparkling water. Make up your mind, ain't it? So, again, 10.3 grams of sugar. Which is the highest amount so far, I think. Yeah. But then yeah. it is cider, so... Um, what's your opinion of cider? Are you a fan of cider? Only if I can put blackcurrant with it. Mm. Have maybe, a good snake bite. Yeah, maybe we should add some blackcurrant to this. If, um, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I mean, it would probably be a Mew or a Mew 2, wouldn't it, if it was a uh, blackcurrant dark fruit? Yeah. That would be very fitting, but yeah, cause maybe Mewtwo's, that's why I couldn't find it. Maybe that was. Mewtwo's um, usually known as one of the strongest Pokemon, so only makes sense to have a strong flavour go with him. Mm. And he's also one of the rarest, so that's probably why you couldn't find it. Uh, right, let's go. Right, the smell test. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, smell that. What? I can't tell if this is going to be good or not. It's yeah. either going to be one or the other. Right. I can't really describe the smell, can you? It definitely doesn't smell like cider, but then again, how does. Like how does cider smell like? Booster pack, just yes, a fresh opening of a base set, first edition booster pack. Here we go. Oh, oh. that smell is very strong. Oh yeah, as soon as I put it up to my nose, yeah. Right, here goes nothing. <laughs> it tastes better than it smells. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. But it's. It's still no pear. It's still not cider flavour. We still have a clear winner. Mm -mm. Yeah. Maybe we should do that as an experiment for our next video. Just blindfold someone and then we'll have all these um, poured... Actually, you don't even need to blindfold them because it's all different color. It's all same colour, it's all clear. Mm. So we can literally pour every bit of a can into a different glass, get someone to taste test each one and get them to guess the flavour. Uh, like if you were to do a blind test of all these, which one would you say you'd successfully guess? Well, that one's clearly yeah, yeah, yeah. obvious. Um, the sparkling water. I couldn't tell you that was a white grape, no. certainly. And um, we said it's hard to tell that's orange. That would possibly go down as some um, out of date Lucasade from 1995. These maybe. two, um, they definitely taste nice, but I don't, would, wouldn't say they really taste of pear, would you? I wouldn't say they taste much like pear. Yeah. Um, so, I've forgotten how this one tastes now, the apple one. Does that taste much of apple? I think that was possibly my second favourite. Yeah, I think this was very faint apple, weren't they? Yeah, we got any left, strong. or is that all gone? Uh, is there's it that a, good? There's so a tiny bit left. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. Clearly, clearly was the second bed. Oh yeah, that's the IKEA apple. Yes, that's it, IKEA, yeah. And yeah, the cider one, I don't really know. Wow. But it's got a strong smell to it. Taste-wise, um, I'm tasting more like, how do I explain? Blueberry, like, ocean-y type okay. taste. Typical supermarket. Yeah, stuff. not cider at all. No way that's cider. Would you say it tastes of cucumber? Could that be what it is? Maybe. Where it was once labelled as cucumber, they kind of thought, oh no, well it's a bit of both, but yeah. more. Maybe it's a marketing scheme, ain't it? They thought cider, more people would buy it. So that one's empty. We, we I'm complaining about that one, but maybe you drink most of it. No, but I think it's because the ones that I poured, I only poured a little bit of each one, but when you poured them, you pretty much poured half into the okay. can into each one. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, because look, the ones on my side, they're still all half full. Oh, even the pear one, that's good. Yep. Oh, 
we can look forward to that, but as for the other ones, um, I could easily go with that. Yeah, but, um, so... By the way, you wouldn't be able to tell by watching the video, so we'll tell you ourselves. These are chilled. They have been... Yeah, in stored the in the fridge. <laughs> In the freezer. Uh, they've been in the fridge freezer for um, what an hour. So they're... yeah. So um, uh, let's go through. I'll f this one definitely my favourite. What about you? Yep, clear yeah. Clear So that's at least four out of five. Right. Um, this one, I'd say close second. Yeah. Yep. IKEA apple flavour. Mm -hmm. mm, three out of five. Yeah. Three and a half. Yeah. I mean, if we hadn't already tasted it in Ikea and it is much cheaper in Ikea. You could probably get a free refill for yeah. a pound, whereas that is... Okay. Um, this one, uh, I'd say this one's a good third. It's not as powerful as the Togepi one. They're both pear flavour. Yeah, I'd go uh, after the first two, I could easily... Like, I won't be coming back to any of these apart from maybe the pear one. Oh, the cider one. Plus, I, like, I, I do like cider, as I mentioned, but... This is not cider, is it? This is not the same as a kind of strong bio measurement, is it? But let's have a... Let's have a one more reminder. I'd say flavouring, it'll get about uh, two and a half flavouring. But as to being cider, no, it's not cider at all. Yeah, it's a bit of a... Yeah, it's a, a bit misleading there. Yeah. Um, this is a straight one or zero. <laughs> it's, uh, it's sparkling water, basically. If you're a fan of sparkling water, then yeah, really it's the Pokemon. <laughs> right, um, white grape. Mm, it's very forgettable, but let's have a quick reminder. Just Oh, it's one of those. Well, like, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I like that one either. Um, ugh, yeah, that was an, it's mm. certainly an improvement on that, but that's really yeah. the same so, And the orange, the very faint orange. Mm. Yeah, like I said, Lucas Aid to play for. Those who has had tried the Lucasay tablets, imagine one of them. You've dropped it in a cup of water. It's got like a little bit of taste. Yeah, certainly no fans are. Well, yeah, that's been our review of um, these Pokemon Ocean Bombs. Um, hey, actually, it comes to think of it. No, actually, it does. I was about to say, none of them actually say Pokemon on anywhere, but um, <laughs> then yeah, you've got a tiny little logo there that says it. As I say, if someone, well, who doesn't know what Pikachu is, but if someone just picked it up and saw that, they'll be like, is that Pokemon? Because <laughs> you'd expect like a Pokemon across the top here or something like that, like Pokemon Ocean Bomb. I wonder like, if Ocean, Ocean Bomb is a big brand over there, or is it mm. just they need Pokemon to sell their products? Who knows? Possibly, but. Yeah, that was that. Um, we have been Finger TV and you have been watching the taste test of Pokemon Ocean Bombs. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.